We'd like to share with you the upcoming finance series that MC Office has put together over the last years. Uh, we feel it's an important um, training session because the number of people um, either who are finishing their master's program or who are in community ed and have been in community ed for quite a while want to broaden their understanding of how we're funded in community ed, uh, this would really benefit them. Uh, we broke it down into three sessions. So the first session really is the basics of funding for community education. There is community education state statutes and how they apply, what formulas are involved there, uh, the funding sources, uh, how U4 codes are explained um, and identified, the state budget reports that are needed for MDE, and of course we cover some of the Minnesota administrative rules as well in that first session. So it's really a basic session for those that, that may have not may not have any understanding of how we are funded in community education. Then we roll into session two. Um, basically, that's where we get into the nut and bolts of creating a program budget, uh, handle variations of expenses and revenues, uh, what a district audit means for community education, how to troubleshoot possibly financial issues within your district, um, tools for building a budget. We, we spend a quite a bit of time on that. And then how to just financially manage your area. So that's session two. So uh, session one and then session two builds on that. And then session three is a step further. We uh, work, work on analyzing your state reports, uh, analyzing trends and vari uh, variations, variances within your budget, uh, ident identifying areas of strength, potential problems for planning your planning pr process, um, the difference between direct and indirect expenses, uh, project income, monitoring performances, and also special event uh, revenues. So. Uh, each level, uh, we get a little deeper into it, and by the time you finish uh, session three, uh, you'll have a really good understanding of how uh, our funding works in community education and how to best use your revenues and perhaps even deal with some of your expenditures.